Algebra 2, Section 1.4, which is the absolute value. Absolute value is something that you might have seen in middle school, but maybe not. And it's a fairly simple concept, but it can be taken very, um, there can be very many challenging pro problems that go with it. So this is our only notes, and then we're going to go straight to examples. So make sure you follow the examples very closely. Do not forget the vocabulary, and don't forget to e write down either before or after I talk on each segment, okay? Not while I'm, I'm talking. So basically, the absolute value is to represent things like weight or distance. For example, if I were to walk two steps this way and two steps back, it did not mean that I would return back to zero. Does that make sense? I traveled a total of four steps because it's always positive. If I traveled, you know, three steps backwards, I don't go negative three. I just, um, I, I travel three, okay? Backwards or forwards, I still travel the same amount. Same thing when you're in your car. The distance is always positive. Same thing with weight, okay? You can't go negative weight because once you hit zero, that's it. So no matter what, your weight is going to be a positive value. In this case, <coughs> The absolute value is represented by these long things. They, they kind of look like ones or whatnot, but they are absolute value. And they are put in a number. That means everything in there is an absolute value, everything inside that value. So if I have the absolute value of A, it equals A. But also, if I have the absolute value of negative A, it still equals A. So that's what the absolute value means. That means I'm going to have two different problems one positive and one negative, but they're both going to equal A, okay? So let's try a problem. <clears throat> the first problem, what we're going to do is they're going, they want us to evaluate. So it's not necessarily solving, but they want us to um, put in the value for X. So in this case, the value of X is Four. So I have 2.7 plus the absolute value of 6 minus 2 times 4. So let's do the absolute value first. I have 2.7 plus 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. 6 minus 8 is a negative 2. So what that gives me is 2.7, the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2, so instead of, so that negative becomes a positive, so I end up with 4.7. Alright, so again, I put in the 4, and six time, ne two time, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, and 6 minus 8 gives me a negative 2. That negative 2 becomes a positive because we're dealing again with absolute value, so out of it is always a positive, and it gives me 4.7, right? How you solve these kind of problems is a little more tricky. Again, there's two possible values. This tells me, okay, that 8, that inside this parentheses, this equals 8. But we both know that we all know that in here, if it equals negative 8, the answer will still be 8. So what that means is y plus 3 can actually equal 8, or we would still get this if y plus 3 also equaled what? Negative 8. Okay, negative 8. The thing is, is that this doesn't represent the whole problem. It represents what's inside. So I no longer need the absolute value. Now, let me go over that again. y plus 3, the absolute value equals 8. What that means is on the inside, y plus 3 can equal 8, or y plus 3 can equal negative 8, one or the other. Once I take this absolute value and I make it, that's the only difference. Once I take this equation and I make it to two separate equations, either E equals 8 or e, it equals negative 8, okay? 
then I no longer need the absolute value and I just solve like two simple problems. So that's the main step. I take this and I turn it into two equations. So an absolute value will not have one, but two equations. Okay, and then after I've formed it into two equations, I no longer need the absolute value. Please do not treat the absolute value like a parenthesis. It is not a parenthesis. So from there, I just subtract 3 from both sides. y equals 5. The next one, same thing. I subtract 3, but because this is a negative 8, I end up with y equals negative 11. So in this case, I have two answers. I have 5 and negative 11. So y equals 5 and negative 11. Now, these questions will ask you to check. So that means I'm going to plug in 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. Yes, it works. Okay, negative 11 plus 3 gives me a negative 8, and the absolute value of a negative 8 is 8 still. So this works also. So these two both work. Sometimes when you plug it back in, they're not going to both work. So you have to make sure to check it. Our next problem is a little bit more complicated because it does not have um, the absolute value by itself. The only way you can solve an absolute value equation is if it is isolated. So in order to change this, I have to get rid of the positive 5 if I want to solve this. And what I need to do is I need to bring it to the other side. So how can I bring it to the other side? I just do the opposite. Since this is being added 5, I just simply subtract 5. Now, here's our problem, okay? Because this is negative 5, never no matter how much I solve it, because it has the absolute value, will it equal negative 5? It'll never equal a negative 5. Okay? If it was a positive 5, that's one thing. But because this equals a negative 5, there's no solution. Because no matter what I put in here, an absolute value will never give me a negative number. So it has to be no solution. Alright? So these two problems, please make sure that you're trying page 29, number 2 and 8, after these two problems, page 29, number 2 and 8, and also page 29, number 12, after this one. We have one last problem to solve. This problem is a little bit more complicated than our last problem because it's two equations equal to each other. Now remember, if, this was, if there was something attached to this, like let's say there was a plus 3, I'd have to get rid of that before solving this. Okay, um, I know there's a negative here, but as long as the whole thing is not negative, then we can still solve this problem. So we're going to split it into two problems, just like the other one, just like the other problem. But remember, the inside of an absolute value can either be a positive or a negative. So if this is 8 plus y, we can still have 8 plus y. Okay, we can also have what? A negative 8 plus y. So if I put a parenthesis, I put the whole thing negative. So inside can either be a positive or either be a negative. And I end up with 2y minus 3. And I'm just going to leave this alone, 2y minus 3. So one more time, in order for me to get rid of the um, absolute value, I have to represent both a positive and a negative. Some pro you can do it with this problem and make this a positive 2y minus 3 or this a negative and this a negative, or you can do it with this one. It does not matter as long as I have how many equations? Two. And both the positive and the negative is represented. Once I have that, then I solve it just like any other algebraic problem. Here I'm going to isolate the y. I'm going to subtract y from both sides. Bring down my 8. So I end up with 2y minus y just gives me y minus 3. Okay, then next, in order to get rid, isolate y, I have to add 3 to both sides. Remember what I do on one side, I have to do on the other. This is 11 equals y. The next one is negative, that goes here. We have a negative 8. Okay, I have to distribute, so you act it like a negative 1. This is a negative 8, this is a negative y, so minus y equals 2y minus 3. Okay? 
this then, what we're going to do next is we're going to add y here. This gives us a negative 8 and a 3y minus 3. Then we add 3 to both sides, gives us a negative 5 equals 3y. Okay, then I divide 3 by both sides. I end up with, this cancels out, I end up with negative 5 over 3 equals y. Now it's okay if I have a fraction, don't stress out, but my two answers are 11 and y. Please make sure that you check them, okay? Tell me if both of them work when you put them back or they don't. Same thing when you do this last example, page 29, number 14. So go ahead and do that. This one might be a little complicated. We can do this one in class. Don't stress about it. But go ahead and attempt to do page 29. Number